Harrison Boothlet, class of 2023, committed to San Jack, Jaco Bandit. Uh, I go to BCA Baseball Academy, and I play for the Georgia Bombers summer team. And this is what's in my baseball bag. So the first item we have is a customized Rawlings 34-inch catcher's mitt. I really like Rawlings. I've done All-Star a few times. I've used All-Star a few times, but I like the feel of Rawlings. I like the leather they use a little better than the other ones. Uh, I got customized. I got my last name right here. Nothing too, nothing too special. I got a 34 because I like my catcher's mitts to feel big. Uh, when I receive pitches, you know, I like to have a little more, you know, space for the ball to move so I can do a little bit more with it. Um, I've had this for about... About a year and a half. Uh, I probably had to replace this a few times, but other than that, it's kept up pretty good. It's been good for catching Bela, regular pitching, and pretty much anything. Alright, so next, we have the Lindor Cleats and the Lindor Turfs. Now, shout out Future Star Series. Uh, we got these at the Future Star Series main event uh, up in Fenway. Um, I like these cleats a lot and I like these turfs a lot because um, besides the fact that they fit really good, so they actually have this right here, and this goes around your ankle. And sometimes, you know, people don't have a lot of ankle support, stuff like that, you know, people have ankle problems. But this right here, you get this and you tighten it, it's going to make your feet feel great. It's going to make... It's gonna make everything great. I feel like I'm doing a, I feel like I'm doing a shoot ad right now. You're good. Um, yeah, these are good. These are the molds. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't really use metal cleats a lot. I use a lot. I use molds because I feel like you know sometimes you get a little too much uh, with the metal cleats, but sometimes you don't get enough with these. But these have always been my comforts. I go high top because because uh, I like the high tops. I just like high tops. I can't do low tops. They're just they just don't fit me well. And they're not comfortable like that. Um, Next up, next up we got the batting gloves. Now something interesting I do is I put, so I actually wear two batting gloves on each hand. I don't know how this started or when it started, but it's been working for me great and it's comfortable. So on top, we got the Jax glove. And I like these Jax gloves because they got this little thing right here. So a lot of people come in and like, bro, you got webbing in your hand. No, it's not webbing. It's so, it's like a pro hitter almost. So um, I like these because they feel good. Um, this helps me have a little more back control when I'm swinging. And I just shout out Jax. And underneath, you just got a regular pair of batting gloves. This is all I got underneath. Nothing special here. Right here, we got the Evo Shoe gloves. These feel real good. These have um, these have great grip for under those for me. Um, they fit great, uh, and they just they're good batting gloves. Next up, we got a must. This is a must. So this is for this is for catchers. Uh, this is a team defender glove. So you put these under your catcher's mitt. And if you feel this right here, if you look right here, it actually has a little thumb guard right here. Um, right here we got we got a little padding right here, 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 here. I don't know how many times this has saved me from a broken thumb. I would recommend Team Defender, get you a Team Defender glove. These save thumbs. Up next, we got the catcher's mask. We got the all-star two-piece catcher's mask. I used to wear one piece for a long time, but I don't know what it was. Uh, once I went to the two-piece, I just fell in love with it and I love the way it feels and how in the summer, you know, you don't get too hot in them. You're still hot, but you don't get as hot as when you have the one pieces. But um, this right here is just a classic all-star one. Um, I like this one a lot. It fits great. Um, it's flexible back here. I know some of them are kind of strict back here, but this one's flexible. I can flip it on, put it on, do whatever I got to do with it. Um, up next, we got the, the Princeton Rays skull cap. Now, I actually got this from a friend of mine, and I love wearing this. I love wearing this because you get the air vents here. Um, it's good fit. Shout out Wilson. Wilson skull cap. Uh, yeah, I've probably been wearing this specific skull cap for like maybe like two, three weeks. Uh, I love it. I used to wear Evo Shield. Shout out Evo Shield. Their gear is good. Um, but you know, I like I like All Star a lot better. It's a lot more comfortable. Um, this was worn by a big league player. I don't forget what his name was, but I love wearing this one. It's comfortable and it fits good. Up next, we got. I'll do I'll do the chest. We got a chest protector. Now this is a Navy All Star chest protector given to me by Future Star Series at the main event. Um, this one fits great. Now, like I said, I've used other gear before, but this one just feels great. This one has the um, this one has extra protection right here, and when you block balls, it almost makes it feel like you know nothing's even hitting your chest. Um, 
yeah this one right here shout out future stars again gave me this gorgeous chest protector love it i'm gonna wear it forever um, as long as i can wear it and that's that now up next we got we got the all-star we got the all-star leg gear now these when it comes to legs this is a must you've got to have comfortable leg guards um once again giving me a future star series um i like these a lot because you know so right here they have the they have the velcro and a lot of you know sometimes people companies make it so hard to change the um you know adjust the leg guards but these right here these are really easy you just get these do this you pull on these um you pretty much you know just fit it to your leg however you feel however you feel necessary now if you look inside so they actually have a lot of um a lot of leg guards just have the so if you take this and take out all this black stuff that would just be the leg guard but this right here you got extra cushion here and you got gel right here i know a lot of you catches out there when you go down and block sometimes you end up with bruises on your knees this takes away the bruises on the knees so i recommend getting your pair of all-star catchers uh leg guards whatever it is these are navy blue because i was on the navy squad the main event future stars um and these are just real comfortable i love wearing them next thing we got is the evo shield elbow guard now this is only this is i only wear this in game but as you can tell i've had this for years um this is something i wear just games uh i like i like feeling a little extra protected on my elbow just because that's that's a spot you want to keep safe especially as a baseball player um yeah all right so that's all right so right here this is my first bat we got the old hickory mike trout uh cup model this is a i believe this is a 33 and a half um i like swinging so when it comes to wood i like swinging 33 and a half because i like a little something else behind it you know 33 is good but it's, it's a little i swing it a little too fast so um old hickory makes great bats this is the first one um my trout model is the best model i've ever swung i love swinging it it's the most comfortable bat i've ever swung um as far as wood goes i love it Should I go wood again or oh JB can you hand me that? Yes. <laughs> I was like, where's my Christmas bat? I appreciate it. Alright, the second bat we got is the D Marini Goods. Now this, this is a really good bat. I love this bat. I love how it's it's a little end loaded, but it's pretty balanced. Um this is actually a this is a 33. I was gonna get a 34, but since it's a little more end loaded, you know, you have a little something else behind it so you don't gotta put the extra inch on it. Um, this bat has a great pop. I love swinging this bat as far as aluminum goes. I'm gonna be springing it this swing. I'm gonna be swinging it this spring. Shout out DeMarini. This bat's great. The goods. got this right here now this is the blue meta so this is a 34 because the 33 was actually banned because it was it was almost too good so i had to get the 34 and this is a fairly heavy bat this is pretty unloaded uh it's really not that balanced but if you got something if you got some power this, this ball travel off this bat um i swung this a few times in game like i said I, I stick to the 33 just because 34 is just i'm just not ready for that yet um but you know, if you're a strong, strong kid, I'd recommend swinging this bat. This 34 right here, balls will fly. Oh my gosh, bro, I got so many. All right, right here we got the customized Future Star Series main event, handcrafted wood bat right here. Now this one, I haven't used this a ton, but this is a really great bat. So I actually have another one of these that I don't have with me, but it's the Freeman model. And if you get a Marucci, the Freeman model is the most balanced Marucci bat I've swung in a long time. 
You can see I got my name right here. Here's some boothlet. Just a regular professional cut, uh, 33 inches. Um, shout out Future Stars again, giving me this bat. Uh, I got one more. I got the whole freaking store in here. All right, last but not least, um, we got the C271. I think this is the I think this is a Griffey model. Uh, this is Louisville Slugger. I love this bat. This is a 33 and a half. Like I saw on my wood bats, uh, pretty much 33 and a half. This bat, if, if you're strong enough, swing this bat. The C271. This is this bat is really good. Uh, as far as wood goes, this is one of the best wood bats I've ever swung. As you can tell, I've had it for a really long time, but it's still holding up and it's still it's still doing good when I'm swinging. It's still giving me some pop and some balls out. Uh, shout out Louisville Slugger. This is a really good wood bat. Uh, so. As you can tell, this tape is a little worn out. I love lizard skin. Lizard skin is something that you need on a bat. If you don't have lizard skin on a bat, you're not doing it right. But yeah, I love this bat, Little Slugger. It's powerized, so you get a little less, uh, a little less shock when you swing. And up next, so we got the, we got the Diamond Crew sunglasses. Uh, red tint, just regular baseball glasses. These are like, these are some of the best glasses I've had. I've had 100 AR Oakleys. You know, I just lose them. I just lose everything. <laughs> so uh, get you a pair of these, 40, 50 bucks. Uh, I love these. I've worn these for you know a few days now. Got them for Christmas, but anyways, you need glasses to get you a pair of these, and that's what was in my baseball bag.